is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and as you can see, we're not in Florida anymore. We're in Bermuda. We're on the side of the road right now. The weather is terrible unfortunately, but it's gonna clear up in the next couple days. We got turn around here. What's up? We got Captain Scott with Akuna Matata Charters here in Bermuda. We got his dad. Hey. Hey Mike, hey, say hi to all your fans. Hi, you see that <laughs> Busy man. Yes, so Mike is Scott's dad and they have been selling fish on the side of the road here for 30 years. I know it's a little bit noisy right now. We got cars running by, but I'm just gonna show you guys the setup that they have here. They got all their coolers separated with different kinds of fish. His dad, Mike, just filleted an Almaco, which they actually call Bonita here. So super interesting. We have a lot of the same fish back in Florida, but they call them different. Show me. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it is not ideal weather here. <laughs> All right, check your Tuesday problem. That Thank was you. one right, gust of wind. Time out, buddy. I did go. Why did you cut that part out? No, it's staying in there. This is all raw. <laughs> that was crazy. That was just like one big old gust of wind. It's all because of this guy right here. Every time this guy comes, he brings bad rubber. He brings good looking girls and bad rubber. True story. Two things he's known for. If you guys remember my bass fishing video and my crappie fishing video from Georgia, you guys know Jason. Um, he pretty much knows everyone. If you have to like do something or go to a different state, you're like, hey, you know anyone here? Jason's like, I got a guy. He's the I got a guy guy. So check this out. So right here is their Elmaco Jacks, which you guys know we have these in Florida. But like I said, that is their Bonita. It's so interesting how they call fish different. Hey Scott, can you show people your mackerel? This is what we call mackerel. So this is their mackerel. Now you got your blue runners, we call green jacks. Green jacks. Yep, blue runners. That is crazy. So that's our Bonita back at home, but it's a mackerel here. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna um, just, we're gonna eat breakfast. We're gonna wrap up here. As you can see, obviously the weather's just kind of a handful right now, but I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna go to catch these fish. So when we catch fish in this video, we're gonna eat some for us, but this is where they will end up at the end of the day being sold at the fish market here in Bermuda. Before we go fishing, I want to show you guys this massive corgi. Check that out. Just insane. That's the biggest corgi I have ever seen. Like, usually they're like, yay big. And also, I love the way that Mike prepares the trigger fish. He makes them so you can cook them whole. So right here, he skins the trigger fish. And this honestly is one of my favorite ways to eat trigger fish, just like that. And there was a girl named Vic. This is our ride to get to the boat. I don't know how much you guys can see. It's gonna be a cold one out there, I think.
the water for the fish to bite. Oh yeah. So Ashley's behind the camera. Yeah, the belt's kind of slippery. Ashley's behind the camera right now. Got a little seasick. She literally just chummed the water. Oh my god. That's 
What's it taking that I just reeled in an Almaco, but here they call them Bonita. Um, unfortunately, it looks like a Cuda or a mackerel got it. So. He bait. So we're pretty much trying to wait for this uh, this current to change direction. It's not really in our favor right now. So we're just slowly putting out chums, some chummies, trying to catch these ribbon fish to use for bait. And we keep hooking into what they call Bonita over here in Bermuda. So which is good because they can sell that fish. Come on, Mike. I just hope my Bonita was bigger than this I'm one. Sun, so yeah. <laughs> it's bigger? Oh man, this one bigger? So this is the one I just caught about five minutes ago. Hold that up, perfect. It was this one. Pretty nice size one. Let's see. They keep getting bigger. We had one. The head's on the cutting board because the barracuda got them. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Do I see a gaffer? That feels like that. So although it was a beautiful day offshore today, the fishing was a little bit slow. The current was just going in the wrong direction for tuna. We're gonna go out tomorrow and go fish as well. I think it's gonna be raining tomorrow, but we're gonna push through it and see if we can't catch fish. But we got a big old Wahoo Barracuda that... <laughs> A barracuda that shout out to Katie. <laughs> and then some Bonita, aka Almaco Jacks, um, which they're gonna sell those. We're gonna go ahead and clean the Wahoo, and then Jason's gonna make his tuna towers. Well, they're not gonna be tuna towers, they're gonna be Wahoo towers since we did catch a Wahoo today. So stay tuned for that. We did eat tuna towers the other night, and they were absolutely delicious. It's something that Jason is very proud of, and he loves making this dish. <laughs> Good morning. Mm. <laughs> Scott had a long day and his face has seen some sun, so he is exhausted. But right now, Jason and I are in the kitchen and we are going to make up some of Jason's favorite little tuna towers, but they're going to be Wahoo towers today. Wahoo towers today. Yep. First things first. He went ahead and chopped up all the Wahoo and he is mixing it with some sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil? And a little bit of soy sauce. So, your choice. All right. Low sodium, high <laughs> sodium. Yeah, we got that. We got the full sodium soy sauce here today. I feel like my cheeks might be puffy tomorrow from the sodium. <laughs> and some sesame seeds. I wonder what the difference between the black sesame seeds and the white ones are. I don't know. Me neither. I don't know. In the I comments. Like yeah, me too. In the comments below, if you know the difference between the black sesame seeds and the white ones, let us know. I wonder if there's like health benefits of different differences between them. So in Bermuda, there is no Walmart. <laughs> Jason went ahead and prepped uh, ahead of time and went to Walmart and grocery stores back in Florida and got some things that they wouldn't have here. Super important on the container that you use smaller at the bottom of the container, bigger at the top. So when you flip this thing, it actually comes out. Don't nice. use, yeah, don't do the little square container. It won't come out. All right, that's a good tip, good tip. So first thing, French onion. French onion's so good. Yeah, you can't mess it up. Nine, hello. This is Scott's dog, this is nine. This is 
Spoofy? Which one's this? That's Swizzle. Swizzle. Swizzle Swiss after the drink from Bermuda. Oh. Swizzle Swiss drink. Okay, we got Swizzle, we got Nine, and we got Dallas. What is Dallas though? Is Dallas? Dallas? He's Dallas Cowboys. Scott oh. likes Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> True losers. Anybody who <laughs> thinks. <laughs> oh, but what about that on your shirt right there, though? Georgia G, all my dog fans out there, drop a comment below. Three in a row for you haters. You can drop a comment, too. I'm good with that. Georgia dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> so, next ingredient, sour cream. A little sour cream for you. Yes. Yes, we made these uh, last two nights ago with tuna, and they were so good. But I, like, I'm personally just not a big, like, cream person with my fish. But... I'm just gonna have a little bit because it was a really good flavor combination. Anyways, back to the dogs. While you put the sour cream on your French onions, we got Nine, and Nine is named after Skitchy, who I don't, he must be in the bathroom. Um, he is like a go-kart driver, and he's won like so many different awards, as you guys can see here, it's like insane. And his number on his little go-kart racing mobile was number nine. So that's why the, the palm ski is nine. Did you get your beauty nap? Uh, <laughs> avocado next. Next up. After the sour cream. Creamy you, on creamy. You basically use a half an avocado per layer. We're doing a Kelly Young twist on your uh, Wahoo Towers too. Okay. So, we forgot the ponzu sauce, which is one of the main ingredients on the boat. So we're gonna add a little bit of onion and orange to our mix here, just to switch it up. Okay. Put avocado in, and then you're gonna do a layer of wahoo in this case. I'm so excited. It's tasty. Uh -huh. And then we're just gonna repeat the steps again. Can we throw a little bit of onion yep. on mine. Yes, you can. All right, so repeated the steps, and now for the masterpiece. Woo, look at that. You know what it reminds me of? When like you go to like a Chinese restaurant and they do the rice in the bowl and they make it a little rice bowl. Today my first day, tomorrow I'll be much better. <laughs> Beautiful. This is so cool. So normally the soy sauce is a little salty, but the ponzu adds a little extra kick to it. It's a citrus, so we're gonna cheat with the oranges. Let you come over the top with a little bit of soy over the top. And then we're going to go with the oranges. We can thank Emily K for this recipe. And I think it probably came from Valentine. Yeah? Probably, yes. But Kelly Young put the orange and the onion in the twist. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. That's <laughs> Kelly Young twist. That's it. Beautiful. This is going to be so good because Probably the first time in history I wasn't prepared to bring snacks or food on a boat <laughs> and we went fishing today and last night we actually went out into the boat club and did this little party and dance and had a few drinks. Well, by the time it was over, kind of didn't realize that everything's closed by like seven here. So we were starving on the boat today to say the least. All right. What you think? One bite. Good. It's Wait, a one bite Which rule. one's mine? This oh. one has less solid three. The one bite rule. The one bite rule. You gotta get a little bit of everything on this. Alright. Ready? Good call on the orange. Yeah. Very good sure. call on the orange. Honestly, I think these were better than yesterday. Yeah, this is good. The wahoo is better than the tuna. Maybe it's the orange. I'm telling you, the orange is key. I put orange in my ceviche. So good. Which, speaking of sweet Jay, I'm gonna make some for tomorrow on the boat. Scott, mm -hmm. would you like to try this? Okay. So good. So Scott's not a huge fan of like combining a lot of stuff with fish, like the avocado and the sour cream, but that's all right because it's more for me and Jason. 
So good. So what do you give it? A, a nine. Of, a well, nine. A nine. It's good. Just because you can't give a ten. <laughs> but it's so good. Scott's picking up the scraps on the Wahoo. <laughs> Let's go heat. <laughs> oh boy. No. Georgia dog, yeah. some heat. I don't know anything about sports, so. By the time this video comes out, we're gonna be champions. <laughs> <laughs> what? This video will be out two right. and a half weeks from filming it. Two and a half weeks from filming it, but you guys. We're gonna go out fishing tomorrow with Hakuna, Hakuna. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna. Hakuna Matata. Matata. Say it again, Scott. You're right. <laughs> How do you say it? Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Right there. Right there. Check this out. I don't know why every time I turn the camera on, I'm like, a -ku -ku -ku. I can't get the words out. Hakuna Matata. Here's a little um, model of his boat, nice. which is so sick. Like. Here. Let me help. Let me help you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Scott put that on the TV for me last night, by the way. He's like, this is how you pronounce it. I'm just like, y'all already know my tongue gets all twisted sometimes when I say some words, but right now this video is ending. We're going out fishing tomorrow with Akuna Matata Charters here in Bermuda again. We're gonna try to get on the tuna today, just the current wasn't right. Unfortunately, sometimes fishing is just like that. If you guys fish or are into the outdoors, you guys just know how it goes. But right now, this video is ending. Thank you for subscribing, watching. Leave a positive comment below and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.